back and he may be charging. Oh, he's got his bat in his hand. Oh, this could be ugly. It's Twin Time! Hey guys, it's Zach from Twin Time and there's no Chris today. And I have a little surprise for Chris. These boxes came in the mail. So I'm going to surprise Chris. Actually, there is Chris today. <laughs> So, I got boxes for you. Whoa. So, you get those two, I get these These are two. so cool. All right? Yeah. Why don't we go over here to open them? Okay. Maybe you can like move this. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is not sponsored. You guys got these cool boxes in the mail. So, we're going to check them out. Okay. Let's That's open the one that has the number one on it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa! Bad grip! Oh, bad grip for baseball? Yeah. Nice. Whoa, look at this! Mm, that's cool. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa, what is this? Let's see how it looks on you, Chris. Whoa. Nice! Wow. <laughs> I don't know what this is on our head. Whoa! It's a bracelet! Oh, that's cool! Cool! Whoa! Wow, look at that! That's cool! Guys, you know what this is? What? I think it's all baseball stuff. Oh, that's Cause get it? It says plate crate on it. I think they're talking about like home plate. Oh! oh Notice yeah. how the bracelet has like stitching on it that looks like a baseball. Yeah. They gave you guys some batting grip. Yeah, we have a lot of baseball bats at our house, huh? Yeah. yeah. And those hats are so cool. Yeah, I folded mine. Whoa. You guys could wear these to play tennis, to keep the sweat off of you. You could go to baseball or soccer. You could even wear these to play basketball. Wow. Look, it, it comes with a shirt. Oh, that's really cool. So when your grip starts to peel off or wear out, or you want to just have better grip on your bat, you could put that grip on. Wait. Whoa. This looks Is it like a flag? Um. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it is a flag! Wow! That's cool. Maybe we could hang it up in your room. Cause you know where we could hang this up? Where? On the black bars on our loft. Oh yeah, that would be awesome! Yeah, we should do that. Dude, is this like a shirt? Yeah, I think I'm going to go to my next ball. I think this might be a shirt. Wow, you guys got a lot of nice stuff. Whoa! Okay, yeah. I'm going to open my second ball. Okay. I'm really excited. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it comes with like balls! Whoa! Oh, uh, wiffle like balls, balls, those are the best. Oh because you don't God. break all the windows and glass. Is this unbattered too? Oh, wow. Let's see it. Oh, oh dude, red. look at that. You oh got blue and God. red. So we put this over our back. This takes away back steam. Yeah, it hurts a lot when you swing with an aluminum bat, huh? Yeah. Wow. I know as soon as we get back to California, they're going to be in the garage in the sporting equipment bin, <laughs> dressing up their bats, going outside to play with the wiffle balls, and probably hitting them over the fence. Here are some of the things included in the crate. Did you guys get another shirt in there? So I have this awesome red one. Nice. That's a smash because they hit a ball really hard. And I have this awesome black one that says home. Hey Zach, you want to do a little competition? Sure. I love competition. Well, I have a really good one in mind. It's called Bean the Batter. This is going to be really fun because you don't have our bats in Hawaii. Oh! Ow! <laughs> you are good. <laughs> That's it. This is war. Guys, getting warmed up? I'm getting my Clint and Kershaw orange ready. And I'm getting my Justin Turner ready. Oh gosh. I'm going to get that seven on with the bean. Woo! Strike! Go! He's charging the mound! He did not like that. He thinks it was an intentional bean. Oh, this is unfortunate. I haven't seen He's such poor sportsmanship in a very long time. Okay, now the batter's back to the plate. 
So far, Chris has one point. Let's see if he can land these last three pitches. Oh! Oh, those would have been great pitches if you weren't trying to hit the batter. Batter dodged it. Uh-oh! <laughs> Okay, round one complete. Chris gets two out of six points. <laughs> Chris beat me twice, but he hasn't seen what my cannon could do. Is it a smelly cannon too? Yes. Maybe the smell alone is gonna make the batter strike out. First batter up. I'm not taking the switch to Pweed. Zach's second pitch coming up. Oh, another miss! Looks like the pitcher's the one about to strike out this time. Oh, right in the back! And he may be charged. Oh, he's got his bat in his hand. Oh, this could be ugly. <laughs> now Zach is one for three. He's got a couple more pitches. Another ball and a miss. Two more pitches. Oh, another miss. He's down to one last pitch. Both teams are really wanting to win this series. He's not going to hit me because I'm big Ruth now. Chris hit me twice and I only hit him once, so this is my last pitch. If I hit him, it's tied and we do it again. Oh, I, get, I think he got charged with a box. And he missed. So I think Chris won the first round. Yes! I haven't seen baseball like this in a long time. <laughs> Let's do another round so I could beat you. Okay, you guys ready for the next round? Yeah. Okay, I need Zach to go over on the other side of that couch over there. Ugh. And Chris, you're going to have nothing to hide behind. You're just going to be over here. So everyone grab five wiffle balls. The first person to get three hits on their opponent wins. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, oh Chris has already thrown three hits. Oh, he got one hit. Oh, it appears that Zach might have won this round. <laughs> All tied up. Chris took one and Zach took one. Now for the final tiebreaker round. So here's how the last and final round is going to work. First one to collect five balls is going to win when I say go. On your mark, just set go. Chris decided to go around that way. Zach's already got a few. Oh, Chris found some over there. How many you got, Chris? Three? Oh, quick. Zach might have found one in there. Oh, Zach got five? Yep. That was close. I got four. Thanks for watching.